Good evening, my name is Rob Orton. Uh, give me a cheer if you've ever seen me before. I don't believe you. All right, well, the rest of you, you've seen me now. So I'll go off and I'll introduce myself again. And you might be a bit more familiar with my work. Okay. Comedy up late. It's time for your next act. I'm sure you've all seen him before. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Roberto. My name's Rob Orton. <laughs> Give me a cheer if you've ever seen me before. <laughs> That's what it must feel like. <laughs> it makes you feel alive. <laughs> Performing. I know I'm alive. I know I'm alive due to the fact that self-service checkouts in supermarkets ask me the question, do you wish to continue? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> of course I wish to continue. I'm in a supermarket. That's where you go, if you wish to continue. If I didn't wish to continue, I wouldn't be in a supermarket, would I? I'd be at home, discontinuing myself off. I'm not in a supermarket at the moment. I'm here, doing a live performance. I once saw an interview with Kylie Minogue and she was talking about the art of live performance. According to Kylie Minogue, all you have to do in any live performance situation, the key is, you have to make every single person in that room, you've just got to make them feel like they've been seen. And you've looked at them, and that is it. That is the key to live performance. I've never been to a Carly Minogue concert before. <laughs> but I imagine they are exactly like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all right when she's doing her gigs in rooms this size, it doesn't take that long to make everyone feel like they've been seen. What about when she's doing her massive gigs in the stadium? She must be there for absolutely ages, just like that. <laughs> just going along the rows like that. I'm looking around, getting to my highlight. I want to make you feel like you've been seen. There's a lot of people here tonight. There's a lot of people that aren't here as well. Out there. I got the plane here, got a foot Melbourne. Some people were getting planes away from Melbourne. I was like, well, I guess you're not coming. Thanks for the support. A lot of people here who used to be children. I was doing this the other night and pretty much after every line I said, there was a lady in the audience who said, what? <laughs> there is a lot of people there, a lot of people here who used to be children. I've been thinking if I ever have a little boy, what I'm gonna call him, I've come to the conclusion, if I have a son, his name will be Dad. <laughs> after my dad. And his dad. At the hospital, I will introduce dad to my mum. Hey, look, mum. Got someone to show you. This is dad. Your grandson. Don't cry, dad. Yeah. You know, I used to be a bit more upbeat than this, you know. I used to think CCTV was a very, very positive Spanish television channel. But it's not. If you are looking at me thinking, hmm, not sure about this guy, look, I've had some reviews for the shows I've been doing. 
I got one review and it said, Rob Orton adopts the persona of an underprepared best man. <laughs> I got another one. I got another one and it said, some of the worst mic crap I've ever seen. <laughs> I was like, no, you are. It's meant to be like this, you know. <laughs> You've got to use it quite sparingly to get the mic out. And I got another one and it said, like watching a child caught in the stage lights of his first nativity. <laughs> I'd say that as a compliment, right? Because I do want to try and keep this fresh and new for myself and try and stay excited about being on stage. I love being on stage. Being on stage is one of the few places where worry, anxiety and paranoia just seems to vanish, it loses its grip on me. When I've got old people looking at me. <laughs> it's as if my brain's saying, yeah, we've got something real to worry about now, Rob. <laughs> I like a lot of things in this world. I like the sky. <laughs> where does the sky start? Does the sky start where the ground stops? What's this bit? Uh, what? I like faces, I like faces so much. I got one. What? I got one on the front of my head. I'd like to introduce you to my face. Look at all the faces in here. It's like a face showroom in here. Isn't it? I was once doing a gig in a place in uh, England called Reading. No! I said that. I, I said, I like faces, I like faces so much. I got one. There's a guy on the front row. Turned to the person next to him, said something, I heard what he said. He said, I wish we'd bought more drugs. <laughs> I like water. Water! What is it good for? Absolutely loads of stuff. What is water? Water is the smell of a pint of orange cordial before you've added the cordial. <laughs> Similar in taste to the broken pelvis of a melted snowman. Water, arch enemy of the Dyson Airblade. <laughs> Give me a cheer if you got a hairdryer in your house. <laughs> Give me a cheer if you got a hand dryer in your house. No, no, it's, it's not illegal, is it? We just all agreed not to. <laughs> Give me a cheer if you got a hot water bottle in your house. <laughs> I once met a lady who had two hot water bottles, one for the bedroom and one for the living room. What a luxury. Doesn't she know they are portable? I've got quite long hair and a beard at the moment. It's getting to the stage like dogs look at me differently when I, when I look like this. I saw a dog, right? The dog was side on. The dog was side on like this. I was coming down like this and the dog went like this. <laughs> it did a double take. I've never seen a dog do a double take before. They look up at me like that. I'll just stand up like that. What breed are you? Right, that's it. I'm all set.